Now, one thing I've been kind of fascinated with lately, I know you probably want to party with me, is the 30 EMA and Landry line. And I think that might be your best friend when it comes to crypto. And as I've been saying in presentations lately, if you don't walk away with anything, then walk away with the fact that Landry Light and the 30-day EMA might just be your best friend. And you can see here in Bitcoin, we had a lot of Landry Light on this nice little uptrend that it was in. It went from 40-something to 60-something thousand. And of course, on the downside, we had lots and lots of red, meaning that the highs are less than the moving average. And I just really like the 30 EMA lately. The, the whole Landry light stemmed from an article I did in 1996. I think I wrote it in 95. And it was published in Stocks and Commodities Magazine. That sort of launched my entire career. I ended up, ended up on the institutional side and then ended up in retail. And then the whole time I've been a private trader, I actually was a registered CTA for a while during that entire period or doing some of that period, 14 years, I believe, if memory serves. Anyway, the article talked about the lows being greater than the moving average, and one of the guys who read it contacted me, and he dubbed it daylight because there's light between the bars and the moving average, and then it later morphed into Dave light, and now we call it Landry light. Thanks to some of my clients helped me name it. Now, here's something that's pretty amazing, at least to me. I know you probably want to party with me. <laughs> but this was this was done on Monday, and I probably could have done another 50, 100, or, or maybe even 500 charts that look a lot like this. And this is somewhat random crypto, but it's somewhat alphabetical order, too. And I just went to the ACP platform and pulled up crypto pairs and started tooling through them and grabbing a couple of screen grabs. Notice how many of these are headed lower. Notice the Landry light to the downside. Notice how they're below their 30 EMA. Well, there's nothing to do with these pairs, okay? Don't buy them because they are currently going down. Wait until at least, at the least, I should say, they are above their 30 EMA. And I'm, I'd be willing to bet that that, works really well in stocks too.